here because, you know, they want you to be sympathetic to this and not worry about it. Don't worry about the fact that they're, we're actually making the country more dangerous for women and children and gay people. You know, maybe you're going to get tossed off a roof here. Who knows? Uh, but it's for humanitarian reasons, so don't worry about it. You know, soldiers aren't allowed to uh, ignore, they've got to ignore the sexual abuse that's being perpetrated by our Afghan allies because it's their culture. Don't worry about it. This is the new normal. Oh, and now we got a report coming out. German intelligence, intelligence is concerned that Islamists are recruiting refugees, saying the number of Islamic extremists in the country have increased sharply in recent months, and they've expressed serious concern that they were recruiting among refugees, basically saying that they're under the cover of humanitarian assistance. They're exploiting the situation of the refugees for their own ends and to recruit, <laughs> of course, for their extremist activities. You think? But again, nothing to worry about here, because like they said, they're going to be vetting these people, making sure they're only bringing in the good people. And I'm sorry if they've got their fake Syrian IDs. They have vetted the moderate rebels. Oh, but, oh, this is coming out of the Telegraph. Look here. U.S. trained Division 30 rebels betrayed the U.S. after they trained them and gave them weapons. They betrayed the U.S. immediately after they re-entered Syria, and they handed their weapons over to al-Qaeda's affiliate there. So never mind that the U.S. is arming and training jihadists. Never mind that they're flooding the country with these illegal immigrants or people who they now believe are turning to these extremist groups. Whatever, that's fine. P pedophilia, it's totally okay. The most important thing is making sure that we are using the correct pronoun for people and that we have three bathrooms everywhere for people who are confused about their gender. That's what you should be concerned about. That's what they tell us is the most important thing. Oh, also, and paying those carbon taxes to Al Gore. Now, that's not what we think is the most important thing, and we're going to be giving you some more of the real news coming up later, especially the massive surrender of sovereignty in this crony capitalism trade deal that is the TPP. That's coming right up. You traitors claiming I'm a Ruski agent, say it to my face and I'll break your nose. I'm sick of it. I will stomp your head in the ground, you traitorous maggots. While we go under Obamacare, North American Union, conquered by European banks, announcing our kids don't belong to us, total bondage, total surveillance, and you want to shoot your mouth off about me being a Ruski agent, I will stomp your head in the ground. Never water yourself down just because someone can't handle you at 100 proof. It's the Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. Oh, I, will, oh, I wish we go back to the days. I'm telling you, of just getting my satisfaction out in the street. You pick a sword or something else, you're going out in the street. I might as well just. Are you ready to show your disapproval for Hillary Clinton? Get your Hillary for Prison 2016 t-shirt today at the InfoWars store. Hurry up because these things are selling out faster than Hillary Clinton. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years.
Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. I'm running for president. Everyday Americans need a champion, and I want to be that champion. I'm hitting the road to earn your vote, and I hope you'll join me on this journey. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. Alex, this is David Knight and Jakari Jackson. We're here in Washington, D.C., right in front of the White House. Of course, the Pope is going to be arriving in about two hours. He's going to be visiting with Obama tomorrow, as well as lecturing Congress. And then he's going to go to the United Nations and tell them what they want to hear, that we need to uh, turn everything over for global climate indulgences. But there's also another agenda, Alex, and that is open borders. Both of these are being sold as saving the planet, doing this for the children, helping families, but they're both feeding a globalist agenda. And an example of that, Alex, is the fact that he's gonna be holding the mass here in Washington. It's gonna be held in Spanish. Furthermore, it is the first and only canonization mass they've had in America. He's gonna canonize, in other words, make a saint, a Father Sarah, who was one of the earliest missionaries into California back in 1749. And many people who are commenting on this say this is clearly sending a message that we have a dual heritage here in America. It's not just the English settling in Jamestown 120 years earlier. No, the important thing is the Spanish colonization of California. And what makes this interesting, Alex, is that in this particular case, Father Sarah, there's been a lot of controversy about him. And, and there's a lot of pushback from people criticizing the Pope for canonizing uh, Father Sarah because of the harsh treatment of the uh, Native Americans, of the Indians that were there at the time. Let's just be honest, just, they used them for slave labor. Yeah, yeah, and just this But year, it's okay because California... the Catholic Church did it, so now it's fine. And, and, and they're right. now announcing that L.A. is the capital of Latin America. This is all part of a globalist takeover. Exactly. Just this year, the California legislature tried to remove a statue of Father Sarah from the uh, California legislative building. And so that's how unpopular, how controversial he is. But the Pope is doubling down. He wants to have someone who portrays this whole Aslan narrative of the fact that the uh, southwest of America really belongs to Mexico. I believe that's what's behind this. 
Uh, many people do, but of course, so there's an open borders, globalist agenda. There is a climate change, carbon tax credit, a kind of indulgence that we would pay to the global uh, elite billionaires. That's also going to be pushed in this visit. Well, it's truly sickening to see the full court press of the UN, Obama, the Pope, global government, global taxes. Uh, the Democrats are introducing legislation. Well, they introduced it this morning. Uh, to, to try to shut down everything and track us and, and use smart meters to tax everything we do. But, of course, they're going to be exempt from it. This is a total takeover, and the Pope is making his move. And I'll say this, whether the Catholic Church was good or bad before, it has been taken over by U.N., uh, Central yeah. Intelligence Agency slash EU bureaucrats using a pedophile scandal. Even the Guardian admits that. It is now state-run religion. The Vatican has fallen to the New World Order uh, any way you slice it, and is now a total engine of evil. They have actually no interest whatsoever in the massive changes that are going on here in America. You would think that he'd be talking about that, but he's got an, an agenda of climate change. We knew this was coming. He put out the encyclical this summer. Uh, it didn't get, surprisingly, that much coverage for most people. Polls right after he did it said only about a third of Americans were even aware of it. Only 40 percent of Catholics of those percentage. I don't know how many agreed with him and how many disagreed with him, but they were not even aware of it. So he's coming here with all the pomp and the circumstance to draw attention to that agenda. And he's calling uh, for a revolution in America. Yes. He's coming yes. here and he has his his viceroys, his 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 cardinals in the U.S. calling for open borders. How about he calls for the Vatican to lower its walls and, and give its money to Latin America? I mean, it's just such a joke. It's so hypocritical. I wonder what his carbon footprint is on his plane, on his Pope mobile. Does he have air conditioning? Another one of those. It is the typical kind of hypocrisy that we see. And one of the things that he said was, why is it not news when a homeless elderly person dies on the street, but the stock market drops 2%? Well, we know that's the case, but let me tell you this. We're gonna have a lot of homeless people, a lot of made homeless by the increased taxes. We're gonna have a lot of elderly people who are gonna be dying because they don't have heat, because they don't have air conditioning. We've already seen that happening in places in Germany where they've, they've made such a huge part of the uh, budget for retirees that they can't afford to heat their homes, sure. so they're dying in the cold. That's what's gonna happen. A it's billion not people will die over a decade if they pass the Copenhagen Treaty which yeah, is their yeah. treaty they're trying to ram through part two in December in Paris. So the, the 2015 is their big move. I mean, they are going from 50 miles an hour to 5,000 miles an hour, David. And can you imagine next year it's going to be 20,000 miles an hour? I mean, they are accelerating at attack speed. Why do you think that is? Well, you know, they had the Copenhagen uh, uh, schedule. They didn't get what they wanted out of that a couple of years ago. So they're, they were putting everything on 2015 in the fall from September through December is the major push. We knew that when he announced the encyclical. We said, wow, he's made this an encyclical. He's taken a scientist and put him in the Vatican Scientific Advisory Board, someone who has promoted uh, globalist uh, agendas of global government. He wants a, uh, uh, a globalist uh, legislature, a globalist constitution, every aspect of global government, and he also wants a reduction in the population. Sure. This is a guy he's brought onto a scientific advisory board. So he's here as a part of this major push that begins now and is going to go through December. They're hoping they're going to get some major legislation. Or in the case of America, now we're run by a dictatorship who can just do things by executive order. So I'm sure that Obama can just do whatever he wants. He's got the moral authority, he thinks, when the Pope joins him on this issue. It's, 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 it's a foreign religious leader with our president lecturing us. This is outrageous. This is a slap in everyone's face. This is disgusting. And, yeah. and, and and Catholics are really upset, and I, and I know why they are. Uh, if you can, let's pan and show folks the so-called White House, uh, fully captured White House. Uh, by globalist interest right now. That's Shikari Jackson doing a great job on camera, and we'll hear more from Shikari Jackson tonight and David Knight on the Nightly News. We're going to break here, David, in 40 seconds. Tell me what's coming up, what you're going to be working on. Uh, his lordship, his, his, his grandness, his excellency, his supremeness is, is, is about to land. You're about to go cover that? Yeah, we're going to try to get out there to the base. I don't know how close we're going to be able to get to Andrews Air Force Base. CNN was reporting earlier, even though they have a reporter on the plane with the Pope, the CNN reporter said they'd embargoed their equipment. They were, try they were doing a Skype report on CNN because they'd taken all their other satellite equipment from them. That's how paranoid security is here in this area. It is absolutely amazing. Of course, at the moment right now, it's just a bit of a... Hold uh, on, skip the break, here. skip the break. We're going to skip the break. I'm just going to continue with David and I because then I want to go to calls. 
Uh, absolutely. You're, you're, you're uh, panning around right there. I've got to stop skipping these breaks, but there's a network break, not a station break, so stations shouldn't be playing over this. Um, I don't know, any other hosts don't do this because they all just, well, not all of them, a lot of them are just greedy and want money. I could care less about money. It's just something to fund the operation to expose the new world order. So I want to thank you all for your support. It's why your support's more important than ever because I don't worry about raising money so much and it is important to do. Uh, David, everything with the globalist is about breaking our will, throwing it in our face, conditioning us to submit. What do you make of Salon, who criticizes us almost on a daily basis, sometimes daily, usually weekly, making up whole cloth lies, misrepresentations,